Okay, so I have now watched Monsters University. So anyway, it was a good movie. I have seen Monsters, Inc. a long time ago. I can't remember when I've last seen it. Like I think it would have been over 10 years ago, but at the same time, I remember it well enough that it's like, maybe I saw it more recently. I don't know. Anyway, it was, it was, it was a good movie. It was a good movie, Monsters, Inc. There's a lot of movies like they didn't home the movie Home. That wasn't on Disney+. Plus. And there was another one I was going to watch that they didn't have on or sing that wasn't on Disney Plus either. So yeah, there was a couple yeah, there's a few quite a few that aren't on Disney Plus. But anyway, that yeah, so what was the one? Yeah, it's a Monsters University. So it's a prequel to Monsters Inc. and that. So I feel I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Mike Wazowski like is so well known. I don't know. It's just I don't know why or how, like maybe he's like a meme or something, but like uh, I don't know. Like, it just feels more well-known. Like, uh, you know, there's a channel called Fairburn Films. They did a video with Mike Wazowski or whatnot. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. It would be so fascinating to see polling on what percentage of the population has heard of Mike Wazowski. I don't know. I reckon, I reckon of people, I don't know. It's so hard to say, eh? It's so hard to say. Oh, because I guess, like, you know, it'd be like, like, you know, oh, people that are, like, under 20 in age, I'd say, like, 80% or whatnot. But then again, people that are, like, under five years old probably wouldn't have heard it. You know, it's almost like just cycles of, you sort of have, like, this gap here about it and then not and that. But, yeah, anyway, it was, it was a good movie. It was, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, sort of just having watched, like, how many movies have I watched now? Because the first night it was Inside Out, second night it was Frozen, third night it was Frozen 2. Or the first two weren't necessarily in the nights. Then it was Zootopia, Wreck It Ralph. Uh, no, no, Ralph breaks the internet. Last night it was Big Hero Six, and then tonight it was Monsters University, and that. So it, it really goes to show movies they're just all different and they're all unique in that. Like you can't really, I mean, you can kind of compare them, but you can't really. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to say about it. Like. It sort of felt a bit like yesterday's Big Hero 6 in the sense it was like sort of just, it was just sort of an entertaining, good classic mu- movie in that. And since I'd watched the, the first one in that, it was it was more familiar and I like I, I liked it more probably than, than Big Hero 6 or what, but at the same time Big Hero 6 was great. I, f- I feel like Tom, uh, Tom Scott had said, you know, how he talks about, you know, you got to strike that balance between familiarity and, you know, it was it newer and exciting or whatnot, and yeah, he's he's really he's yeah, I agree. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It was it was well done. I don't know. I just it's like I always can say, oh yeah, the graphics were great, the lighting was great, you know all that. But I feel like that's true of like most like all movie. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that was true of that movie. There we go. And yeah, entertain. You know the characters were all unique in that. You know, especially you know the team they made. I thought that was already cool. Incorporated all sorts of different. You know, like that purple dude and that. That was I like that. Um, yeah, yeah. It was. It was sort of like the traditional format. Also, it was the first Pixar movie that they've done that and have done a prequel in that. And do you know, I couldn't believe it. You know how I said how the the Big Hero 6 Blu-ray, and Blu- Big Hero 6 came out in 2014, and the Blu-ray was released in uh, November 2019. The Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray, for Monsters in University, literally just came out. Literally just came out in March 2020 and, and whatnot. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's May now, but it's been... Like, that was like Really, like, like literally, if I'd watched this movie like two months ago, they might not have even been on the Wikipedia. Like, I wouldn't even know in the Blu-ray. But I don't know. It's like, it's like, I don't know. It just seems like I don't think they make that much money out of people paying buying the Blu-ray 4K of it, like seven years later, like or not or six six years later. Like, obviously, some people will in that, but I don't think there'll be a massive market for it. Like, at most the interest in that would of in in it. Will just be and and it's like wait I and another thing it's like do they have have they got it ready 
at the start, and it, well, they have to, like, reprocess and render everything, which would be really weird, because it's like, they'd have to have all the, of course they would keep the assets in that, but it'd be kind of weird, it's like, they're like, you know, six years after a movie, you know what, we should really release that in 4K Blu-ray, and so they're, they're sort of, I don't know, like, the whole team would be gone, all the voice actors, all the animators, all that, and I guess it's just, like, two dudes just sort of walk in, and it's like, okay, this is the file of Monsters, Inc., okay, let's try to render that at eh, 4K, bam, <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like, like, Surely you'd, you'd have it. I don't know. It just seems so late to release it. Like, so late. Like, they couldn't really remake the movie or, like, upgrade the quality or whatnot. So, wouldn't the quality have always been there? And if so, why release it, like, Blu ray 4K, like, six years later? Like, one year, maybe, but six years. I mean, there won't be. I don't, I don't know. It's just. I don't know. It just very much surprised me. And that. Also, they mentioned about Club Penguin on the Wikipedia page of that. I don't know, Disney owned Club Penguin in that. So I guess that would have been one of the... I don't know about many of their failed investments, but I guess that would be considered a failed investment because, you know, they paid millions of dollars for it and then they end up shutting it down. Who knows, maybe they made the profit off it, it like like recuperated the cost, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was about to say. I somehow doubt it, but I, I, I don't know. Also, I didn't know. I didn't know because I remember when I was reading Wikipedia, the other pages, they were mentioning about Steve Jobs and all that. I'm like, isn't he to do with Apple? And then it's like, no. He, well, yes, but he actually, I didn't realize uh, his connection with Pixar. I just, yeah, because, yeah, because, uh, yeah, because, like, well, well, cause Bob Iger, you know, had was, like, working in so many different departments and that. Super impressive. He's achieved so much. You know, and so anyway, now I know that, ah, so Steve Jobs was, like, part of Pixar as well in that. So, yeah. Anyway, I haven't talked much about the movie, have I? Yeah, they didn't have that much interesting stuff on the Wikipedia page. Well, any anything that I would consider interesting and noteworthy to mention here, other than that Blu-ray thing. Oh, and the fact that it was, yeah. Oh, I, know, I think it was, like, I think it said it was the third most profitable Pixar the one that Pixar animated ones that they've ever released in that. Characters, you know, were just entertaining. And yeah, overall, I, I don't know, I don't really know what to, to say, and I don't just want to lengthen it for the sake of lengthening it. Yeah, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Solid watch. And I guess, if, if they release a prequel, does that mean you should watch the prequel before watching the next one, or not? I guess it wouldn't really matter, because, anyway, it was a good movie. That's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what do you think of it. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day, and goodbye for now.